We turn now to our exclusive CBS News investigation into sexual assault. Now to a new report released by Uber overnight revealing there were more than 3,000 reports of sexual assault last year. <laughs> I just, I think I, my body went numb. And he just took the icing off the cake and raped me as a child. I was wearing a floor length skirt, a Tampa Bay Buccaneers t-shirt, and an olive green hooded sweatshirt and a pair of Puma sneakers when I was raped on my dorm room floor. And as I went to open the front door of my car, he put his hand on it and said, stop, and then grabbed me by the back of the shirt and pulled me into the back seat. It took me years to forgive myself. Huge number of sexual assault and harassment survivors are sharing their stories online. It happened to me too. Me too. It happened to me too. Why is it hard to walk alone as a woman? In no way is the walking hard. The hard part is the threat I and other women feel from the presence of men. A complimentary glance or an unwanted comment may seem uneventful. Oh, how you doing? You look good. But to think that would mean ignoring a woman's prerogative to feel safe. At a young age, we are told not to dress inappropriately, not for anyone else, but for our own good, so we don't attract unwanted attention and be harmed because of it. As women age, we are then far too encouraged by media and influencers to objectify ourselves and be sexy to attract men. We move on now to the big headline about sexual assault on college campuses. When I'm walking, my mind is confronted with the fact that an unruly number of sexual assault and violent crimes are committed by men on women. Women make up 91% of the sexual assault victims. That means one in six women will be sexually assaulted in her lifetime at an even higher rate on college campuses and for female sex workers. Good morning. Emily Borchart was 21 years old when she says she was in a ride chair to a college apartment when two men abducted her and drove her to a Motel 6. She says a third man there then raped her over 12 hours. Now put that together with the fact that 38% of these non-fatal violent crimes are committed by strangers at again a higher rate towards women. Society is certifiably unsafe for women. This is why it's hard for me to walk alone, for no other reason than I am a woman.